So then I do have another self-contained mini album, and this is just like a really quick summary snapshot album. It's a really nice example of something that you could do really, really quick if you wanted a little, a little souvenir of the holiday without investing a huge amount of time and a huge a number of supplies. I mean, something like this took a lot, and you can check out the video if you want to see how this one was made. But these two were both very intensive projects. This one, I think I made this in like an hour, and it's very, very big basic and unfinished and it's not a, t a total story of the holidays but it's it's an adjunct to the scrapbooking that I did in 2013. So on the outside these are all Scraptastic Kit Club uh, 3x4 cards from their This Life Noted kit and I just tied some ribbons around it. I bound it with my Bind It All which is what I always use for my mini albums and these are Kelly Perky number stickers. I'm pretty sure I have a, a video about this project so I will link that in the information section below too and I'll just flip through it right now. So this is Scott, the year that he did this for me. There's a story behind it. I'm pretty sure I tell it in the video for this, so I'm not going to tell it now. So then the next page, our next door neighbor Kenzie is the best babysitter. She brought gingerbread to decorate. So, you know, this is this is obviously saying we went out one night and we had a babysitter one night, but all that you see is the picture of the gingerbread, and that's fine. It's okay to tell pa partial stories. The Christmas wreaths. So we deliver them, we buy them. A big part of Christmas is supporting TES with a wreath. And so there's a picture of our holiday wreath after a big snowstorm where the bow was all blown <laughs> askew, but... Uh, I stamped and, and added some journaling and I allowed the pa the photo to, to uh, this is an Instax photo, I allowed it to go off the page and this is just a clip from my stash and it's gotten kind of folded over time but that's okay and it just adds interest to have a few things hanging over the edges of some of your pages. And then here's another little page with a tab and some arrows and some journaling about attending the Nutcracker. And then another Instax that goes off the edge of the page. And the another tag that's a little fabric thing that says love. The kids decorated the tree this year. So again, another year that the kids did all the decorating. And then shine. And then this goes back to that holiday tradition of taking turns with the with the angel. This one says, Santa, it's a long story. And then I wrote down here, these are just the highlights with the idea of kind of acknowledging that this is not the full story of the season, but it's kind of like a little brief snapshot into our season. So those are my self-contained albums for the holidays, but I have documented December in the other years too. So 2012 was the year when I did scrap, uh, when I did Project Life. Very religiously, I was I was not behind for most of the year. I documented weekly, weekly full spreads with sometimes inserts inside. Like here we've got two inserts and a weekly spread. So this is how I was doing Project Life in 2012. It was very intensive, very, very intensive. And this is just the second half of it. So it takes up two albums. A year takes up two albums when you document it this way. And so this is volume two. I just have to go to, and I use these uh, dividers for the month. So I just have to go to December here. So here we go. This is where December starts, right here. Yeah, so our elf comes on November 25th. So this, so this was documenting the arrival of our elf. Elvin, our elf, November 25th, on a shelf. So who, what, when, and where. And then that's just a picture of the girls with the elf. And then this is truly where, where uh, December Daily starts. And this was a December Daily. I did it every day. So this is my title card. It says November 26th to December 2nd. And uh, it's just, you can see what it is. I'm not going to narrate every single thing, but um, anyhow, this is a Design D page, which I would scatter in. All of my pages were mostly Design A, but I would scatter other pages in there too. So this is just a filler card, and then a picture of the girls looking at Elvin in the fridge. And then this is, says, today is your bath day. It was supposed to snow. So here's a screenshot of my of my weather app for the day. It says it was supposed to snow, but it didn't snow. I guess I should be happy because it will snow soon enough. But I'm a tiny bit disappointed, but I won't tell anybody, anyone. Uh, and I just used some black words there. I changed my, my writing to black in a few places just to highlight it. 
and some washi tape and a button. And then it says Elvin, our elf on a shelf, gets up to lots of shenanigans. And there's arrows going that way and that way. He has turned our milk green, wrote on our mirror, and eaten my lint chocolates. It's a good thing he at least cleans up after himself. And then there he is hiding in the tree. And then here's an insert that says holiday busyness has begun. And this is a 6x12 insert. It says, although we often spend much of our weekends on the go for activities, etc., this weekend was particularly busy and likely marks the beginning of the hustle and bustle of holiday-related errands, get-togethers, and activities. It's good to live in such a connected community. I just did some outlining there and some lettering there. And then here's just an example of our weekend. So these are all of the things that we did that weekend, and it was a lot. And I used my typewriter to type it all out. Scott's birthday falls in December, so this is his, or, well, his birthday is November 30th, but we almost always celebrate it kind of like halfway between my birthday and his birthday. So it says on Friday, Scott turned 38 years young. Uh, Jen made him a Nikon cake, so this is actually a cake that looks like a camera. Isn't that amazing? Jen makes the most amazing cakes ever. It even has, like, the little catch light in the lens. It's so awesome. That was a great. And I also got him a camera lens coffee cup. And so it shows him there drinking from the camera lens coffee cup. And Alvin's shenanigans. This is just a filler card. And this was something that I cut out of a holiday card from the year before that I just wanted to make sure that I, that I used. And uh, this is a note. And this is actually a note from Olivia. She was keeping a journal on the Notes app on her iPod and so I just I, I snapped a screenshot of it and texted it to myself so that I could print it up and include it in my project life here and then this is some crafts that the kids were doing and then this is my title page for the following week December 3rd to 9th Christmas group therapy this is just a, a uh, comic that I cut out and uh, Maya at 15 years old right there. And so I, I kind of captured some everyday things as well, right? Like just a picture of the cat and a picture of us walking the dog. He's wearing his bright red sweater. Rod Stewart, Silent Night. That must that was the Starbucks song pick of the week back then. They used to give a free song every week. And then that's got with a tangle of lights. It says Pretty Kitty Naomi at 15 years. And then this is a picture of our tradition, the girls take turns each year putting the angel on the tree. Livy will take it down this year. And so it's kind of nice that we've got this that follows us in every one of my Christmas projects. And then this is a border punch that I have. And then this is another insert. It's a sideways insert that I just cut off. I think it was an eight and a half by 11. And these are just some of the things we went to that year with some decorating right on the outside of the page protector. So this is a felt camera with a flare badge in the middle. And this is our Starbucks ornament collection, which at that point only had, looks like six pieces. And now I think we have got 12 now. So these are kind of the nice things about documenting the holidays is that you can go back and see how things have changed and see how things are the same. It's kind of fun. So, and I would have a video that talks about this in quite a bit of length too. So I'm going to try to skip over a lot of this, but this was really, I really like looking at this. So this was my 40th birthday. Look at this. I put the candles actually in this pocket. I attached them with washi tape and some staples. And then they put 40 candles on one of those teeny weeny little cakes, the little tiny ones. And so this is an Instax. No, it's not actually. This is not an Instax. This is a regular photo that I just made to look like an Instax with a frame over top of it. I just thought that this, that this picture, after all the candles were blown out, was just really cool with all the colors and the melted wax all over the whole cake. 40 candles on a four inch cake. And then here's where we started getting the Lego advent calendars so I documented that with the pan like with a cutout of the pamphlet and then Sophie got star of the week so I recorded that and then here's an insert that has the Christmas concerts of that year this is a photo freedom pocket from Echo Park I think and so it has a 6x12 pocket here and then three 4x6s down here and so in this one I have the Nutcracker pant book and the tickets 
and then this is something that I got for Christmas this was one of the Christmas tags and I just journaled all the way around the letters J and O J and Y and then I just put the ice skates over joy so this was the week the world so this week the world is still reeling from the horrific school shooting in Connecticut on Friday we all hugged our kids a bit longer and tighter this week and so I just found this on the internet. It says, when the right words cannot be found, just love. And then this is a letter of um, letter sent home from the school board regarding the incident. And so I just didn't, I didn't want to make such a such an emotional and negative event be a huge part of my holiday uh, documentation. But I felt like I needed to at least say that it happened. So that's how I chose to document that. And then this is the week of December 17th to 23rd, snowman and some weather screenshots. And this is an Instagram from my sister from Moncton because uh, they were living in a different city then. So we were following them over Instagram as our way of being connected with them over the holidays. And so this, I love this page. This is one of my favorite pages of all. Uh, of all time, actually. I, I really love the color. I love the balance. I love the memories that are captured on this page. I have a Starbucks coffee sleeve with some tags around it. I have a close-up picture of of cranberry sauce with the shape that is in the shape of the, of the can. I love that. And uh, then... Oh right, people are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. So it says, if the world ends tomorrow, this will be my last Project Life entry. Because that was on December 20th, 2012. I guess people were saying that the world was going to end. A restaurant we went to, uh, this is Jen and Tanya. They were making cake pops and my cute little niece. And then decorating cookies at Tanya's party. And I just layered all of these tags here and I just really like how they look and these aren't the best photos in the world but they're just like it touches my heart I love 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 that I documented this year in this way here's our Christmas tree this is the the week that includes Christmas Day so there's our Christmas tree and then I just use some washi tape here to do some journaling about a tradition that we used to follow and then some pictures of the kids with some of their favorite toys this is a folded up napkin from my mom's house this is my mom and my stepdad with us at their house for an event and this is this their letters to Santa and this is Olivia's and this one is Sophie's and then Scott brought them downstairs to get their pictures taken with their Furbies and I just put this love it tag there because I thought it was cute and Christmas holiday parties and friends came over and a wine that I must have liked enough to take a picture of so now this is another one of my favorite things so a month with Elvin and it just shows all of the things that Elvin did all of the years all of the month and then there are like filler cards where necessary so here 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 and here and then this is a note apology letter for eating my chocolates that's okay Elvin so he ate my chocolates one time and he wrote a little letter inside of this little sticky envelope. So these are all the shenanigans. Rather than using all different patterns, I tried to just repeat, I think there's four different patterns here, and I just repeated them so that they were spread around. So that it just looks really brought together and coherent because all of these pictures are all in different settings, so they have different color schemes and different. That was a really fun way to document my December, just right within my project life that I already had going. And now this is 2013. And I have a couple of things, two albums here for 2013. But 2013, I was also doing Project Life. But in 2013, and I was doing it really regularly, but I was doing, how did I do it? I think I did a, a spread on one side. Or maybe I was doing it monthly. I can't really remember, but it was, it was less anyways. There was less of it. Where is December in this book? Here's December. This is where it gets really Christmassy. And so I do have a video that shows this, but I'll show you a couple things that stand out for me. I use that Tassimo, the ins so the back of it has like the printing and stuff on it. And then the inside is just plain silver. And I ran it through my embossing folder and then I outlined it and used it as a background here. 
and that's a picture that came that shows up in the mini album so these pages are the project life pages that go with this album so this was my little kind of mini snapshot mini album and then these are the December daily pages that I have to go along with that. So I did capture daily video that explains this in quite a lot of detail. So I will just, uh, I, I will let you check that out if you wanna see what this looks like, but I'll, I'll point out a couple of interesting things here. So one is I have this pull out. We didn't make tree quests because Scott's family was in town for our birthdays, going to the tree lot was okay though because it reminded me of going to pick out a tree when I was a kid. We always went to the roadside tree lot. And there's a picture of a car with a tree on it and Merry Christmas on the back of that card. So this was about breaking traditions. This year we weren't able to attend the Casey family tree quest so we picked up a tree from the tree lot at Wilson's. That was like very different for us. And we captured some of our elf shenanigans. And then I thought that this picture that my daughter made was so similar to this deer on this card that I had to put them together like that because it was just so cute. Uh, I made a little sequin pocket. So this is kind of documenting that, that tradition of taking turns with the angel. And I just sewed around a tag and stamped it and decorated it up and wrote about the about the tradition. I put the whole thing on a little tiny bag and the bag has the picture of the angel in it. And now on this one I have some POW glitter paper that was die cut, documented more elf shenanigans, and then this is my sister's Christmas card that year. So I thought that this was a pretty good idea for documenting music over the holidays. I just took a, a screenshot of the playlist and decorated it up to show what songs we were listening to. Best holiday music. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I have a whole bunch of it. Best holiday music. Oh, what a good idea. Did I think of this? <laughs> Best holiday music. And I put it in a little bag, a little three by four bag. And then I have uh, Christmas Remixed. This album is awesome. If you like groovy, old school music, but with a groovy remix twist, this is an awesome album, Christmas Remixed. One of my very favorite songs, Snoopy's Christmas. So that's why I documented this. So it says, this album reminds me so much of my sister as she introduced us to it. Even though she lives in Moncton now, when I hear this music, it's like she's here. This one, it says, uh, there's something about this song that makes me nostalgic, happy, sad. I like to believe we could stop fighting even for one day for the Christmas bells or something. Isn't it nice looking at your old projects and reading discovering things that you did before and then here's the end of the holiday season in there so I just folded them up and put them and then I decorated this blank spot that was showing so it's nice to remember the kinds of toys that the kids are asking for through the years and then I just wanted to show you that in addition to doing project life I would also do some holiday layouts so this is what one of them looks like right here and here's another one and so what I did was sometimes it's completely it would be like a different angle on the same story that was already captured in the project life or sometimes it's something that didn't make it into project life or something that I specifically didn't cover in project life because I wanted to cover it in more detail on a specific layout and then this I love to do this to make all the parts of something look like the shape of a Christmas tree and it's pretty easy to do because it's just a triangle so this is a layout like that and then there's a layout all about our elf that year so those layouts just go right into my regular albums which are just chronologically arranged according to how I scrap it so now in 2014 I was keeping my project life stuff right in with my right in with my layouts. So, what day is, the, what month is this? Yeah, so this is November, we're hanging up the Christmas lights. And then this is a Victorian Christmas with Marcel. And then perfect low key birthday was, that was December 13th. So this spans two albums, so 
there are some pocket pages of some of the things that we were up to. And my pocket pages were extremely simple back then, and then some layouts as well. So I'll grab the other half of this because the holiday season spans two albums in this case. So here at the front of this album should be my December pocket pages. So lots of celebrating and get-togethers and packages coming in the mail. And on this side we've got, you know, Christmas tree and, and events that we've gone to. And then best present ever, it was the gymnastics bar that my daughters got for Christmas that year. And then party in Picto County, and this is a page and a half spread that shows lots of big pictures of our holiday celebrations. And then this is a, this these are photos of our friends who live in Alberta who we weren't there for this but they sent these pictures to us in the mail and I just decided to scrapbook it to have uh, that memory of their Christmas holidays. And then this is my nephew appreciating my village. I love this. This is one of my favorite pages ever. Look at the look on his face. He loved my village. And then there's Santa's, Santa's Day Off. And then Brownie Cafe, that, helped, that happened over the holidays, I'm pretty sure. And then we're, and now we're just into winter. It's not really Christmas anymore. So I have one more year to show you guys how I documented the year last year. So 2015. Let's get to 2015. So 2015 was just a series of layouts. I don't think I did any pocket pages at all. So I have this no place to go winter layout since we've no place to go. It says, although we originally planned to go to the mall when we heard that snow was coming, we decided to stay home and play. We love it when we don't have to go anywhere on a snow day. So that was the Christmas shopping season. So that would have been early December probably. And then this is Chase and Jude. These are all on my channel, Feeling Elfish. That's me getting ready to do some Christmas errands, I think. And this is a holiday party that we attended. And tapas was something that we ate at the holidays last year. And then this was a photo bomb on a one of our holiday get-togethers. And then they love to play outside and some winter. I think we might be past Christmas now, yeah. So last Christmas, I really only did a handful of pages. So this year, as you know, I'm doing a December mostly. It's called December De-Stressed and Documented. And so far, I just stuck these two in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, somebody mentioned that I might not wanna put these here. You're absolutely right. I might put like a title page here and then start them here, or I might at least do a title thing here and put these down here. Who knows? If you're interested in seeing any of the process videos for any of the individual 12 by 12 pages, you can search my channel for the layout title uh, and you should be able to find it. And then I will do my best to link those albums in the information section below and, and any of the Project Life spreads that I covered, I will try to link those in the information section below too. So take care and have a really great scrappy week.